sound like some superhero. Some black superhero. To party alter ego. Killed your leader in gazebo, did it for the people. Love what motivated, I did not do it for hatred. But I truly hate the devil, I cannot debate or fake it. I was asked a question and the asker thought it hard. If I was facing death and I could ask one thing of God, I would ask for every to be free here and abroad. And to be rightfully celebrated as a child of God. And to be rightfully celebrated as a child of God. We trust yeah. truthfully we envy, so why we so envious? And why our own kind envy us? Clock said it's hard, but we gotta keep our head up. Going even though we know we fed up. Huh. It's hell attention. Plus, we ain't careful where we all pay attention. I need all my real soldiers on the front line. Fighting for the right just one time. So unstoppable together at the same time. With the same mind. Yeah, we're born to be. I'm talking bulletproof, kind of suit, reflect the struggle that they put us through. With the shrimp to fight the power like Chuck D a do. With the insight to be equal, no disguise needed, a voice that finds reason to multiply people in the streets for the cause. Marching on Washington miners, we'll be walking through walls. Type of superhero show up when ain't no one to call. Better shield you from them shields that been killing us all. High beams for eyes to peek, the villains in the dark. Power of resolution for a war would even start. The knowledge to build and grow where they live and take care of the kids and the older folk, the queen cause they need it most, politics with the kings, about economic growth, cure PTSD, cause mental health ain't a joke, feed the hungry and dope, everyone would know, everywhere would go, every block, every hood, every city, every ghetto, need a black superhero, every block, every hood, EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Venerable Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Buffalo Bills and the New Orleans Saints. Two clubs here, each looking to rebound from a week one loss as we're underway on EA Sports. Takes it at the seven. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Terry to get the drive started. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A good start. One play, 10 yards. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Okay. 
They go right back to Singletary. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, that's why the guy with the headsets is down there. All right, they know what they're doing because they got stuffed on a running play on first down. And I think myself and probably the fans are saying throw the football in this situation. But he knew what he was doing, called another run, and now they've got third and short. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Wide open receiver complete. Puts it on the carpet. It's out. And this is picked up by the Saints. And yeah, without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they were, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 just shy of midfield at the 48 11 11 11 11 11 mighty 11 mighty here's Burrow uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete textbook coverage right there played the ball never lost sight of where it was headed and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Here we go. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And they'll send the slot in motion left. The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Gun, gun. An extra defensive gun. back here for the Bills on third down. now Burrow oh looking for Andrews downfield and this is caught touchdown if there was one knock on Joe Burrow coming out of LSU it was arm strength but kind of put those doubts to rest right there Extra point by Cyber up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. Kickoff honors following the touchdown. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The 
Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and ten. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The last run got six, now second and four. On the counter, this is Singletary. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right, four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. Now a hit and a loose football. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. It's always agonizing to me to see a guy make a mistake in this phase of the game because you can t it's, it's all on him. All eyes there. He's got a chance to make a punt return, and instead, he ends up putting it on the carpet. Puts it on the carpet, the little rubber pellet shoot up. Never a good sign for a returner on this field turf surface. No, not at all. A bunch of them go up when they're all trying to get to the football. And all that. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This would be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down moment. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Play action, Allen. Wide open 
receiver complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Now receiver in motion left. They run here with Singletary. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Devin Singletary, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bills are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. You talk about certain guys just having a nose for the end zone. He's one of them, and he was not going to be denied there. And defensively, especially in the red zone, you've got to be able to at least slow him down and hold on for dear life. But he's able to get out of a couple of tackles there, and not enough people got there in time. Pretty poor on that defensive side of the ball. The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Desmond King to return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Go, so now go. they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. 11, 11, 11. 12, 12. 18, 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. This is intercepted. And the Bills are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. 7-7, our score after one. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Hand in the ball. He might want to get out of the way. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. So I think the play defense in this one is looking at the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut it down otherwise. Outside of that, under a heavy rush, and down he goes. 
More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the Bills have taken the lead. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, their offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's got a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. shake off the interception he'll look to throw and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete and part of what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated both levels doing their jobs in tandem the back helping the front here we go front helping the back the pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks 11 mt paint 11 11 11 11 on second down camara and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. 11 MT, 11 MT. 11 mighty, 11 mighty. Third and two, now Burrow. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he is going to have a Saints first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. The Saints had 0-1 of the year following the loss of the opener. And listen, they knew last week they were in for a tough fight on the road. But now here's the home opener and a chance to get things right. And I like the way that you presented that because the bottom line is they didn't come out of that loss discouraged. They just came home and said, hey, if we do what we're supposed to do, protect our home turf, we'll be just fine. Here we go. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And the slot man goes in motion left. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Burrow. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. First down. Here's Burrow. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Flying in to pick up that sack, Jordan Brooks. 
Well, that's a pretty darn good start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener, adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. 11 MT, Pace. 11 Thomas. 11 MT, 11 MT. 11 Mighty, 11 Mighty. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Two minutes remaining in the first half, 10-7, our score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. I'm wondering. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. the gun it's Burrow and that is incomplete they converted twice on third down that drive already but couldn't make it a third we always talk about in-game adjustments how about what the defense did there able to shut them down on that attempt Cybert able to knock this one through and that will not us up at 10 so in the end they had the ball for 10 plays but the drive gets him three not six is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one absolutely all right let's start defensively they hung in there 10 play drive but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line made him kick a field goal for the offense 10 play drive they might be a little disappointed they got a field goal but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points from his end zone here comes Agnew and he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Play action, Allen. Looking left side and it's complete. And the tackle gonna be made at the 38. Back to back, good plays, have them on the move on first down. Allen, off the play fake. Able to complete this one to Tyler Coughlin. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Open man here is Conklin. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Here's Allen. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Saints are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The turnovers, obviously, Charles, always costly. But, oh man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone like that, it really stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end. And I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, it cost him. And the running lane's not existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Burrow 
on play action. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. to pass and this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left as his old brain remembers when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender I know the ball's coming out hot they expected it and got there and popped it free here we go and they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half Final play of the half for Burrow and company. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Time over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he is out of bounds here on the return. On one, ready? Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. 11, 11. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't put anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gimper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. 11 mighty. 11 mighty. On second and 11 now. Burrow. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Alexander Jensen. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. So after the INT, it's Allen. The left side, it's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. At the 23, it's second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. And 
incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To the air, Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Again, it'll be Singletary. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys have now moved out in front. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes it a 17-10 score. Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. King going to look to bring it out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here we go, here we go. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. They'll throw this out wide and complete it to Ridley. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of eight there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. 11, 11, 11. 11, 11, 11. 11, 11. 11, 11, 11, 11. 12. Burrow throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Jordan Brooks picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Okay. 
Right back to Singletary on second down. And he's got Rome. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Saints 18. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Singletary again. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Allen going to throw. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. to run with Singletary. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No game there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create, and if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. In motion left, the tight end. Right back to Singletary on second down. And this time he is in. Yes. Devin Singletary with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. So he's had a nose for the end zone here in the early part of this season. Two touchdowns for him now in this one to go along with the one he had in the opener as well. Yeah, he certainly finds where the goal line is and finds a way to get across it. But you know who else senses it? The guys that block for him. Because he has that instinct, I think they hold their blocks just a little bit longer. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. Saints 10. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here we go. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. There you Glad go. to be in the great city of New Orleans. Rolling along here in the third quarter. Second and ten. They go play action with Burrow. And his throw is incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, 
We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Here we go, here we go. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And they go play action now. Burrow. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Again, it's Burrow on second and ten. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jordan Brooks getting him once again, his third sack of the afternoon. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And this offense on third down today, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and 17. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Open man is Duvernay. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture as now they've got a first and ten. Now it's Burrow. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free and it's second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot go. to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. To throw once more on second and 10. Burrow throwing the out route, finding Boyd for the completion. They're going to leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. It's Burrow. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 18. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Touchdown, Saints. Will Dislett, that 18 yard touchdown grab. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Extra point by Cyber up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. the touchdown now it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away and no return here for Agnew so they'll bring it out start the drive at the 25 the Bills come to the line to start their next drive They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? They've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. 
They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Complete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter. Losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Throwing his Allen on third. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Give up the middle to Singletary. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but it works some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right. But the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. From the 45 on second down, Allen. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. The Bills passing game getting him down the field. They've got another first down. First down, Bills. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that hole with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> we got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. Coming up on a second and six. So Allen's going to look to throw. 
Wide open receiver complete. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A much better effort we're seeing from him under center this week versus last week when he threw four picks. He has thrown the one in this game, but you're right. When you cut it down from four the previous week, and we always talk about adjustments, well, he made some in practice, and he continues to work on it during the game. I'm sure he's getting plenty of reminders about how to stay in the moment, stay focused on the task. And he's got him in the driver's seat here in the fourth quarter. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Give this is Singletary, and they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Defensively, and that might make things five yards easier. So that'll move them up five, make the kick a little easier. And rarely do you get kickers that don't want some yardage closer to the post, right? It's rare, but in this case, they'll definitely take them. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And contact defensively, and that might make things five yards easier. So it was the defense that jumped, and that'll move them five yards closer. I wonder how they did it. What if they twitched a little bit up front, you know, a little subtle head movement that the officials didn't detect, but they got it done. Now they're five yards closer for their field goal attempt. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to perhaps salt this one away. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So for the Bills... It was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Carolina Panthers. Realist essence have been serving lessons since 